You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Greetings, friends. Welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. It is Friday, and we're looking at Power of the Force. We're looking at Jabba's prisoner, Princess Leia. You know, probably informally known as Slave Leia. You know, now sort of now sort of goes by the moniker of Hut Slayer, which is a which is a moniker I really really like. I really like the term Hut Slayer. I think that's I think it's tough. But Jabba's prisoner, you know, that's exactly what she was. This one came loose in the mail today. Um, I wasn't sure whether this one would arrive on time. I did pick this one up on eBay um, last week. It's one that's sort of been missing from the collection for a while. Um, you know, not in super duper awesome condition, but it's fine. I paid very little for it. Um, it's a little bit dirty and stuff, so she's going to get a get a run through the dishwasher tonight <laughs> after I finish the video. Um, but yeah, it's 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 one that's definitely being sort of more sought after uh, with more sort of modern versions of of Leia and a sl slave bikini, <laughs> I guess. You know, being sort of more highly sought after and hard to come by. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be on. Hasbro or Lucasfilm's agenda to sort of put this figure out again. Um, don't know. It's just the way way things are going. I, it's just the way of the world. I don't. I don't think we'll see this layer figure sort of ever getting a release. If, if I'd be very pleasantly surprised. Um, wouldn't be upset. I think it'd be a great opportunity to get the get the version of the character out, especially in its modern form. But you know, this was the first. First version they did, and this was 1997, I think. 1997, there you go. So yeah, unfortunately, like I said, I bought it loose. Um, it's missing the sort of the necklace and chain, which was sort of just a, not a necklace, but you know, it's like a coupling, and then a chain. But sort of the way I'm decided I'm going to display her is just with her arms sort of up. And I've always had these little bits of chain, like these are just from a craft store for necklaces and stuff like that. Is I just thought, you know what? I'll have, I'll have the chain. You can buy different colors. You can buy like bronze and and all that. It's for, for jewelry making, you know. And you know, maybe just have that in her hand like that on show. As if it's just, you know, she's just gotten out the clutches of of Java. I think that would look. I think that would look cool. Just have her like that on the shelf. So yeah, that was sort of my plan for that. And a little bit of, little bit of paint missing just from the like the top of the fringe on the hair there, but otherwise it's not too bad. If I ever find a you know a fresh. Fresh one, like I said, it's not one that I come across very, very frequently. It's a, it's a bit of a tricky one to come across sometimes. So I thought, you know what, this one's cheap. This will tide me over until I get a fresh one one day. Sort of just really starting to fill some holes in the power of the force bit by bit. But you know what, if you're... Uh, you know, you're looking for a slightly more modern version of, of Leia. I think this one still holds up. It's not, she's not super buff, still very feminine. Um, you know, sort of by 97, Power of the Force figures had sort of gotten past that super buff, chiseled. You know, still got wide, wide shoulders, but, you know, Carrie Fisher was quite fit. Back when Return of the Jedi came out, she didn't feel like she was, but she absolutely was. Yeah, like I said, it's uh, got a little bit of little bit of dust and stuff. Whoever's had this in the collection sort of just probably had it stuffed in a box for a few years, and they're just doing a bit of a clean out. 
a little bit of blue blue tack on the back of the leg there yeah, it's probably just been junking around in a box for a long time but it's all good it came to me nice and quick I was worried I wasn't gonna have this one I was sort of planning this one last week when I bought it and I thought oh, it's, I bet you it's not gonna show up in time but alas I checked the letterbox this morning and it, it would had been delivered yesterday I just didn't get a chance to check it last night so I was glad it was out there yeah, still like, you know, the, the sort of the bronze goldy colour. So it looks really good. That sort of ornate bit there in the in the hair. You know, it was very much a you know, a goon job of the hut thing to do is, you know, take take a female as a slave and you know sexualize her for his own entertainment as soon as he just you know got fed up with all he just fed her to the rancor he needed he needed some new more entertainment so you know he thought he'd use Leia completely underestimating how much of a badass she is and she uh yeah she chokes that fat bastard out <laughs> he did not stand a chance I hope I hope everyone believed her and got the recognition I do remember from the uh the book Bloodlines um, she's sort of getting threatened by people that have got, you know, hollow footage of her choking out Jabba the Hutt. That's where she gets, gets the nickname Hutt Slayer. Hutt Slayer Layer. You know, I think that's a cool, cool name. But yeah, nice to have this one in the collection. You can kind of just sort of seal the dust and bits which is sort of I should, maybe I should have washed it before the review but that's okay I just wanted to get it out there and yeah given that I just pulled it out of the packet that it was delivered in I didn't have a good close look but it's all good thank you all very much for coming and checking out another episode of Power of the Force Fridays come along every week almost every week Take a look at some Power of the Force goodies. And this is a goodie indeed. Hope you've enjoyed checking it out. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the cool stuff that YouTubers like, like people to do. All right, folks, we'll see you next week. Till then, may the Force be with you always.